Now you're going to get the cheapest Model 3 ever, complete changes to every single inventory Tesla, very important over the air updates, Tesla layoffs and more. Let's get into all of the details in today's video. Things are flipped upside down right now at Tesla with a recent announcement of a 10% global layoff, something we've seen in the past from Tesla and also many, many job postings have been completely removed from the Tesla website, which appears to be a hiring freeze. So what's going on? Elon provided clarification on two major changes recently. One, the layoffs, and two, a big change to the inventory pricing. More on that in a minute. But when Elon commented on the layoffs, he said the sales cycle has become complicated. Elon commenting on the recent layoffs, explaining this common phenomenon happened every five years or so at Tesla when restructuring and goals shift to new projects. Elon changing his profile picture on X to the Walter Isaacson biographies profile picture with the subtle hint at auto. What could this mean? Elon commenting on this word auto saying that it was left on purpose and even said so much as a full focus all out focus on autonomy makes a lot of sense right now. And while Tesla is not betting the entire company on the future of autonomy, it does seem to be the main focus moving forward for Tesla. These things change from week to week. Just in the last video, we talked about the big discounts on inventory Teslas, a great way to find a Tesla at $5,000 or more discount from the current new Teslas. Well, now that has changed and Tesla completely eliminated every single discount on the inventory page. Elon commented on this as well, saying that the sales process has become too complex and wanted to simplify both the sales and buying process and Tesla's delivering process. Top Tesla reporter Sawyer Merritt on X speculated this could be Tesla focusing on fewer inventory sales but maintaining a larger margin. Something to know, did you know that if you are looking for a Tesla discount on a new Tesla delivery, you can still take advantage of demo vehicles. Tesla has called out these demo vehicles still see a discount while the other inventory does not. Two changes just happened if you are buying a Tesla. Tesla making things simpler with Elon commenting on the complex sales and delivery process. Well now, Tesla has reverted back to the basics on their website as well. Now showing the original format of the Model 3, Y, S, and X with no animations until you click on the actual vehicle model. So Tesla going back to basics on the website as well and now, did you know that changes have been made to the Model 3? If you are looking to lease, you can now get a Model 3 lease for under $300. Now a change on the Tesla website that just happened, advertised at $299. The one missing piece of all of these changes, whether it's inventory, whether it's new deliveries, even though you can lease your Model 3 for the lowest amount ever, a lot of Tesla buyers are still looking at those interest rates. Will interest rates come down, making Teslas even more affordable? That will help deliveries, that will help sales in this quarter. Leaked source code gives us some of the closest confirmations we have seen to new features unknown before coming to the Model 3 ludicrous, including a new adaptive suspension that includes adaptive dampening to give you an even more luxurious ride than the Highland Refresh. Important, this will include all of the refresh items that you get on the rear wheel drive and the long range Model 3 Highland refresh, but enhanced. So not only will you get that enhanced suspension, you'll also get forged performance wheels that are staggered and lighter, allowing for a more performance feel. And there's also new seats with lightweight carbon fiber finishes and a brand new track mode, all confirmed through this leaked source code. 
Did you know that a brand new software update was just released that is going to give you some of the most sought after security features in your Tesla? Let's go over it. When your sentry mode detects a vulnerability or a threat outside of your vehicle, well now that sentry mode footage you can preview from your cell phone. Something that many Tesla owners, myself included, wish was previously included, well now for newer Tesla you can now preview live that sentry mode footage from your phone. The software update also includes this, but not for every Tesla owner. If you have a newer Tesla, now you're going to get visual upgrades. This includes a full screen new vehicle control screen when you're parked, larger playback controls, and quick access to recents, favorites, and up next in your media. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla or you recently bought a Tesla that has a Ryzen processor chip, then you're going to get these visual upgrades. And if you don't have a Ryzen chip, then this will not work. The streaming service Audible is now available on Teslas, as is Spotify with new features that allows you to sync your playlists between Teslas. And finally, there's a new hands-free trunk mode. Let's go over that. If you stand behind your Tesla with your phone card open on your app, your trunk will automatically open. Again, a new feature reserved for Teslas with a Ryzen processor or a Model S or X from year 2021 or newer. An upgrade to the regen braking was just made. So if you are traveling on the highway or at high speeds, regenerative braking will now be in use more frequently, allowing your battery life to be extended and having more energy transferred for the car into the battery. Are we there yet? A new feature rolled out if you have a new Model 3, for example, with the rear screen. Rear passengers can now see current trip details, temperature, and time to follow along on the ETA of that road trip. So in the last few videos, we talked about the best time to buy, and I mentioned I only see prices increasing. And sure enough, just days later, Tesla completely removed not only part of the discounts through inventory, but all of the discounts entirely. Again, the prices have gone up. Now, the only thing that could change are the interest rates, something that Tesla can't control. Will these go down? I do see them going down by the end of the year. It's tough to say. I do not think we're going to see extremely low rates under 3% or even under 4%, but that is my prediction. It's not financial advice, but I do think if you wait on your purchase, we potentially could see lower rates because we just saw a price increase, albeit from the discounts being removed from the inventory. Also, don't forget that all Model Ys currently qualify for the EV tax credit for qualifying buyers, and the Model 3 performance is said to qualify on the IRS website. So what will that price be, and will that qualify the only Model 3 at this time to do so once that vehicle is released? If you didn't catch the last few videos, they're really important. Tesla just slashed the price of the monthly full self-driving subscription down to $99, which once was $199. New colors are potentially coming to North America, so check out the video for that. Interest rates could fall, a new Model 3 is coming, and so much more. Make sure to subscribe to get all of those latest. And the only way I know that you're out there watching is, of course, to drop a like. Again, this is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.